I want to give you an update of what's going on in the Superior Court of Justice in October now for criminal cases. How has COVID impacted right now what's going on in the courts? Well, first of all, from March of this spring until uh, July 6th, there was no trials going on in the Superior Court of Justice. They were all paused, unfortunately. And also, there were not a lot of guilty pleas going on as well. The only matters that were getting dealt with were urgent in-custody uh, guilty pleas of people accused, and they were doing that by tech using technology from the jails. So this has been a very positive development. What happened is the Ministry of Attorney General has renovated uh, initially 53 Superior Court of Justice courtrooms across the province. Now, that's not a lot initially, but that fortunately they continue to renovate courtrooms and we're now moving the files through the system. So trials have resumed. People who are in custody can have their trial and we're giving priority to those cases. People who want to plead guilty, uh, whether it's an urgent matter, out, meaning out of custody matter or uh, non-urgent matter, I mean, or an urgent in custody matter, you can have your matter dealt with. So they're opening up, the ministry is doing a, I would say a commendable job of safely opening these courtrooms. There's, there's plexiglass, there's safety issues and social distancing. And we're gonna see in the future as to whether, you know, a delay problem happens. We don't know yet, but I, I believe if they continue to open up the courtrooms in the way they have safely and continue to offer reasonable deals to defense counsel that we may be able to avoid this delay problem. So. Because of that, I will say the government's doing an excellent job. I, I've been impressed with, with how they've reopened the Superior Court of Justice. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.